the 13th parliament. And how many know when the inauguration is taking place? On the 13th, you need to pray. On the fifth day, they made the ruling of the fifth president. So that man will need double grace to rule. Imesalia siku kama tano hivi ili William Ruto aweze kuapishwa kama rais wa tano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Tangu kuchaguliwa kwa rais William Ruto, watu wamekuwa na maoni tofauti kuhusu uongozi wake. Kuna wale wanaodai kwamba uongozi wake utakuwa na panda shuka na wengine wanadai kwamba ataongoza nchi ya Kenya vyema. Na pale kwenye mtandao wa kijamii wa TikTok kuna video fulani ambayo imesambaa sana. Hii ni video ya mchungaji anayejulikana kama Pastor T akizungumzia kuhusu uongozi wa William Ruto. Na nakwambia kuna vile video hii imewatia a watu wengi atumbo joto. Ebu msikize Pastor T hapa akizungumzia kuhusu uongozi wa William Ruto. We have the 13th parliament. And how many know when the inauguration is taking place? On the 13th, you need to pray. On the 5th day, they made the ruling of the 5th president. So that man will need double grace to rule. Because on the day of his inauguration, that number and the parliament is dealing with that number is conflict it takes double grace now don't think i was on the other side <laughs> now you're saying nikaa pastor na jikomfort kupali ishe we are kenyans the same song we are singing we sang 10 years ago si uchawi ni maombi that song is very sensitive and this is what i heard the lord tell me when you have a church member that you pray for and he becomes a manager it does not mean the church has become the manager it is the man so when the man messes up the church that prayed for him must grow and deal with him when david was anointed we'll come to that now this one i'm giving direction to the nation when david was anointed he was a king but in god he was the son of god when david slept with Bathsheba, god never saw a king god saw his son and he sent a prophet not to correct the king but to correct the son na umesikia mchungaji huyu ni kama na peana unabi sio na ukimsikiza kwa makini kuna vile pia ametaja nambari kadhaa pale ametaja nambari tano akijaribu kupeana ufunuo fulani kuhusu nambari tano huku akidai kwamba tarehe tano a mwezi wa tisa mwaka 2022 wakati ambapo mahakama kuu iliamua kuwa William Ruto ndiye aliyeshinda uchaguzi mkuu hiyo tano ina maana fulani kwenye ulimwengu wa kiroho pia kumbuka William Ruto hivi sasa kwa miaka mingapi a, hamsini na tano na alitangaza kuwa rais wa tano a, tare tano kuambia ufunuo ambao mchungaji wao amepatiana pale kwenye video hii ni ufunuo ambao umepea watu atumbo joto kidogo na pia ukiangalia ameweza kutaja nambari 13 na kulingana na nambari 13 pia mchungaji huyo akaweza kupeana ufunuo kiplani na ukiangalia nambari 13 anadai kwamba Uh, tarehe 13 ambapo ni wiki ijayo ndipo uh, William Ruto atapichwa kuwa rais na pia kwenye bunge hii itakuwa ni bunge ya 13 kwa hivyo nambari 13 iko na maana fulani kwenye ulimwengu wa kiroho na nambari 13 ina maana mbaya sana na tumejaribu kuangalia utafiti nambari 13 inamaanisha nini kwenye ulimwengu wa kiroho kulingana na maandiko matakatifu nambari 13 inamaanisha hivi The number 13 is a symbolic of rebellion and lawlessness in the Bible. Nimrod the mighty hunter who was before the Lord, meaning he tried to take the place of God in Genesis uh, chapter 10 verse 9 was generation 13 in Ham's line. Ham was one of Noah's three sons who survived the flood. 13 represents all the governments created by men and inspired by Satan 
in outright rebellion against the eternal. Na palo kiangalia ufono zaidi, tunambiwa hivi. The first valley of Hinnom or variation thereof occurs in 13 places in scripture. The valley was the scene of the evil inspired rites of the pagan god Moloch or Molech. The practices related to this false deity received some credibility when they were knowingly allowed by King Solomon in 1st King chapter 11 verse 7 in order to please his non-Israelites wives. One way Molech was appeased and worshipped was through the sacrifice of children who, placed on the red-hot arms of the idol, were burned alive. The valleys tied to fire made for an apt backdrop of the ultimate punishment and repentant and rebellious sinners will receive in the lake of fire in the book of Revelation 19:20. Na ukiangalia huu ni ufunuo ambao unaendelea kuwa zaidi na, na kulingana na maandiko ama kulingana na watu ambao wamesoma mambo ya kibibilia tunaambiwa kwamba nambari hii imejaa nuksi sana haswa kwenye kuwasi yani rebellion swali ni je bunge la 13 hili litakuwa bunge la kuwasi litakuwa ni bunge la kukuwa rebellious kwenye uongozi wa William Ruto Hilo ndilo swali. Anyway, nyinyi tafsiri yenu ni gani? Kumbuka kwamba hili ni jambo ambalo limewatia watu tumbo joto sana. Anyway, leave your thoughts in the comment section or tuambie. Thank you for watching. Let's be next time. I am your favorite host, Chief Okuzo. Bye-bye.